keyframing a camera to make it look like it is handheld is quite hard and takes a lot of time. In this video I want to show you an easy method to capture the movement of your smartphone camera and import it into Blender. To extract the camera motion you need to download the CamTrack AR from the App Store. Unfortunately it is currently only available for iOS devices and I couldn't find an alternative for Android. After opening the app move the camera a bit around until it recognizes the floor. Then tap the button in the bottom right corner to lock the ground plane. You can also place an anchor on the floor which will be very useful later on in Blender. Now you can move into place and press the red button to start recording. The app creates a video and simultaneously saves the movement of the camera in 3D space. The created data is saved in the files app on your iPhone. For our purpose we only need the Python and HFCS files. Transfer them to your computer, for example by mailing them to yourself. To import the motion tracked camera, we first need to install this Python file as an add-on. To do so go to Edit Preferences and in the Add-ons tab click on Install. Locate the file and install the script. Then make sure to tick this little checkbox to enable it. Now under File, Import, you should find the HitFilm AR Tracking Data option. We can use this to import the animated camera. As you can see the add-on also automatically sets the number of frames for the scene. If you want to make this animation a bit better visible, go into the object data properties and under motion path click calculate. This gives us this nice path along the motion of the camera. As you can see the camera is still in the wrong place since we want it to move up those stairs. But we can't just move it there since the location is keyframed and it always jumps back to the original location. Luckily there is an easy workaround for that. Select the camera and shift click on this empty, press Ctrl P and parent the camera to the empty. Now we can move, rotate and scale this point and the camera will always follow with the animation still working. If you want to bring the motion path back to the right place, select the camera and click on update path. I'm gonna remove it however since we don't need it anymore. And I also bring in the rest of the scene. As you can see in the camera setting, the focal length is also animated. We don't need this, so I right click on it and choose clear keyframes. Now I can set this value to whatever I want. I also don't like this aspect ratio, so I go into the scene settings and change this to 1920 by 1080. And here is the finished animation.
I think this is a really cool technique to make the camera movement look more natural. If you know any alternative app for Android, please let us know in the comments. I am Nick from Render Daily. See you in the next one.